Hello everyone, today in this video I'll be discussing the super important definition which are mostly repeated from the previous papers and uh, make sure you know the uh, uh, definitions very well. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. This uh, link is also in the description box, you can go through it and if you are finding any difficulty in understanding what these terms mean, you can watch this video, okay? So before starting, make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started. The first one is define artificial intelligence. It basically means that you are uh, designing something which will mimic the human behavior and Okay, that's only what is artificial intelligence. It leverages the computers and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of human mind. If the same thing is done by a machine, that is called as machine learning. Okay, it's basically the uh, similar one just you have tried before that. Machine learning is a subset of the artificial intelligence. Moving on, we have what do you mean by well post learning problem? Well post learning problem means you'll have three things there. An agent will be there who is performing a task with a performance P and gain some experience E. This type of problem is called as well post problem problem okay and the examples are handwritten recognition problem and robot learning problem okay in these two problems what happens the agent is learning in an environment by performing some tasks and uh, uh, improving itself right that is what is called well post problem Moving on, we have what is state space. State space means it is a uh, set of all possible configurations for a particular system. What are the possible states are there? That whole space is called state space. Okay. And the definitions is not compulsory to write like this only. It should just mean the same thing. You can alter the words. Okay. Next, we have um, what is concept learning. Concept learning means inferring some Boolean value function like true or false. You are learning something to determine something if it is true or false. That is called as concept learning. Inferring a Boolean value function from training examples of its input and output. By using the training examples, you are trying to get to, uh, the output is um, false or true. Okay, That is what is called co concept learning. Inductive learning means based on some set of values, you determine that uh, how the uh, system is. Like for which values it is more true, for which values it is more false. And this is uh, true even for the unobservable states also. Like that kind of induction you will be uh, trying to predict. That is called as inductive learning. Any hypothesis found to be approximate the target function well over a sufficiently large set of examples will also approximate the target over a, uh, other unobserved examples. Okay, If it is uh, working for large number of data sets, it is also expected to work for unobserved examples. That is called as inductive learning. Next, we have consistent hypothesis. Consistent hypothesis means a particular hypothesis which is consistent with all the training examples examples consistent means matching okay means it is not differing from them matching them okay that is what is called consistent hypothesis version space means you'll be having a space in that all the different types of uh, hypotheses are stored okay and it keeps tracks of all the useful information which is applied and the sequences and all okay what is general boundary the most general hypothesis what we have the limit that is called general boundary and specific boundary is the least general or the most specific boundary which we have okay that is called specific boundary instant space means the space Space in which all possible instances can be there. That is called as instance space. Hypothesis is nothing but an approximate function which best describes a target function. There is a target function here. You have a hypothesis here, and this will be best describing this function. Then it is called a hypothesis. What is horn clauses? Horn clause is nothing, just a clause. What is a clause? Like some formula like this, not P or not Q and and all, okay? But the only condition is that at most one positive can be there. Like in this case, only one positive is there. Or else if this, uh, no positive is also there, that is also fine, okay? That is called as horn clause. Next, we have uh, the decision tree. What is decision tree? It is an algorithm which will be helping us to classify uh, the different instances based on its attributes, okay? Next, we have entropy. It is the measure of um, impurity. Like, remember this. If uh, you have to calculate the entropy between two uh, sample data sets, which is positive and negative, if both are equally positive and negative, the entropy will be highest, which is 1. If one of them is 0, the entropy will be least, which is 0. Why? Because if one of them is 0, it just has either positive or just negative examples. That means it is a pure data set, right? And entropy is a measure of impurity. If this is pure data set and one is 0, means its entropy will be 0. Okay. If it is equal, means it is highly impure. Then it will be fun. Okay. Next, we have information gain. Information gain is a, a thing which we use to reduce the entropy. Expected reduction in entropy. That much only you remember. Restriction bias means we'll be having a set of inductive bias. From that, we are restricting it to a specific data set. Smaller data set that is called as restriction bias. Preference bias means obviously by the name, it's uh, suggesting that we are preferencing something by using incomplete analysis. We are predicting or we are favoring something based on some previous data. Okay, That is what is called the preference bias. Next, we have what is perceptron. Perceptron is the smallest unit of an artificial neural network. Okay, And you can draw this diagram and mention these are the inputs and these are the corresponding weights to it. 
Next we have reinforcement learning. Here you can describe in your own words, there will be an agent. It will be having some different states and different type of actions possible from each state. And from one state, you can go to different states and get some rewards. And that is uh, that type of learning and uh, trying to reach the goal state by maximizing the reward that is called as reinforcement learning. Next we have true error. True error means the probability of hypothesis misclassifying. Probability of hypothesis misclassifying. Sample error is the proportion of examples which are misclassified. It is just a proportion which is sample error. True error means the probability of mis uh, mis misclassifying. Confidence interval means if I am telling that in this interval only most uh, probably the answer will lie, that is my confidence interval. Q learning is a uh, process in which we will be uh, using the uh, expectancy maximization, uh, not expectancy, optimal policy will be using, value based function will be using to find out the best course of action. That is called as Q learning. Then what is expected value? Expected value is the average value of all the random variables over a large data set. See if many random uh, data sets are there, we are going to select that value which is average of it because that's more uh, trustworthy, right? And what is variance? Variance means variability from the average or the taken value. Standard deviation means how how uh, dispersed the data is. If standard deviation is very high, that means the uh, data is very dispersed. If the standard deviation is very low, that means the data is uh, graphed something like this, which is very um, narrow kind. Okay. Estimate bias means you'll be uh, estimating the expected value and the target value. What is the difference between them? Okay. What is the instance based learning? You are learning it based on the instances and the similarities. That is called as instance based learning. So that's all the important definitions for which were in the previous papers. Make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.